Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. Welcome back to Coal Rain again. I really, I have been trying to look around to find different venues to go to but I do love it up here at Coal Rain. As you know it is a beautiful venue, really close to us and they just seem to have something on nearly every weekend so it's just super helpful and handy for Addy and I to get out and about. I am just, I didn't start this at home. It's 8.40, I'm on in about an hour, so I've got loads of time. Obviously, the car is all loaded up. Um, I hope so. I hope I have remembered everything. Had an extra hour in bed last night. That was very nice, so technically it's actually 20 to 10. Which, do you find, when the hours do change, like at spring and winter, like you're always going, oh, it's actually this time, it's actually this time. But I just wanted to sit in the car because I've noticed that whenever we arrive somewhere, Addie gets a little bit antsy and like expects the door to be open straight away. Um, oh, it's coming down a real heavy shower now. And I just want her to learn that that isn't always the way, like she needs to learn that she does stand in there. Um, as you can hear, she is getting a little bit, but not anything bad. And actually she's gone quiet since we've got here. So that is good. I will then go and reward her and open the door. But she's like even started like pouring the ground at like the front ramp and all. So yeah, just want her to learn that. We are show jumping today, as I said. Um, I think as I said in the Cameron vlog that I was thinking of entering this. And I have been brave and we have entered the 80 and the 90. I know I said about the club membership. Well, I've completely misread it you don't need to be a club member you can actually enter it to be like almost unaffiliated so i have actually joined as a club member so i will get points i think it is i need to look in a little bit more but it's actually cost me more than it needed to to come here today but it's okay it's all fine and we can get put i don't know what the, i think the points go up to some sort of league thing i'm not really sure i need to look into it maybe you know please comment below if you know a little bit more about it because i obviously don't and then I ended up having to get a late entry because I didn't have the documents of Addy approved and then I realized I didn't even need them so yeah was a little bit of a a faff Emily not probably reading things properly um I know Cameron and Tina said like I don't think you need to be a member and I was like oh, I'm sure that's what I've read but never mind um they were right you don't need to be a member but it's only cost me 30 pounds and I will get some points so yeah look at it in that way um and I am hoping that I will get here for more of them throughout the winter I, like I say, I've been brave. We've entered the 80 and the 90. I'm going to be honest. It's, oh, I don't know. Why is 10 centimetres? I have been like telling myself we are more than capable. We are jumping that in our training. She is more than capable. I am more than capable. I think getting in for a second round, a little bit like our dressage the other week, that it really helps to get back into the arena and to do another round. But I feel 70 is too small for her and doing like the 70 and 80 80 she is super comfortable at and the next step is to do 80 and 90 if i look at them and i am like they are built really big or anything happens in the 80 that i then think could then make us lose confidence for the 90 i am withdrawing um i'm not going with that mentality mentality is that the right word yeah i'm not going with those thoughts i am going to be doing the 80 and the 90 but also like if she gets tired or anything like that even if we were halfway through our round in 90 i will stop i don't want to lose confidence that is not the aim of today today is just to get out and do a little couple rounds of show jumping oh there's a massive wasp outside i thought they would have disappeared by now that is the plan of today i've got tina very kindly coming up and helping i think she's gonna have to give me a slap if i'm totally honest i don't know why i'm being such a chicken she has got so much scope in the world and loves her jumping so we are more than capable i think it's just that step isn't it of going up a level and you just you just don't want to jeopardize anything she loves the jumping and i don't want to do anything but at the same time you've got to push yourself a little bit i watched a i think it's dr julie i'm really loving her stuff on instagram at the moment and it's something about comfort zones and like you've got your comfort zone ring and then you just need to stretch that and today we are just stretching our comfort zone so it is more than in our capabilities wow long intro wasn't expecting that um no wonder that my arm is starting to ache and it's probably getting a little bit shaky um 
yeah, I'm going to open the door because she has now gone quiet so she can look at the warm up. We are here. The rain, thankfully, has stopped. Oh, we're steaming up a little bit. I have got a coat today, which is ideal. I'm going to go up, have a little look at the course, see whether I can walk it, whether it's going to change. And then it will be come down and get ourselves slowly ready. Yeah. Fingers crossed for us, guys. I know I shouldn't be thinking this, but nothing like having fence to the one that we <laughs> in trouble with but it is going the opposite way so hopefully heading back towards the gate should be okay but I think number one's over there we'll walk no we'll trot not walk we'll trot through that corner and then make sure that her ears are locked on to the fences her antennas 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 as uh, Cam would call crikey I can't speak this morning and then fence number three these we're getting it over and done with early part of the course Oh, don't go like that now, you've been stood there, Miss Chill, haven't you? Asking Mum for some midget gems, but she hasn't got any today. Oh, nice coat, by the way. Hey? Yeah, a bit posh, aren't I? Girl. <laughs> wow. You're a good girl. You're Miss Chill, aren't you? Yes. All tacked up, ready to go, but we've got about five minutes till we actually need to get on. Why do you eat off the floor when you can eat from your hay net that is above your head? Stupid. You're going to love today, aren't you? Oh gosh, couldn't ring any heavier. <laughs> We got pretty soaked to the skin in the warm-up, as you saw, and the rain continued to come down even when we were doing our round, but isn't it funny once you get in the arena that you kind of forget about what the weather's doing. We had a nice jump over fence one, then here, as I planned, I brought her back to trot for fence two, and then I knew that she had locked on to fence three, so continued in the canter. I think fence three being a little bit further away from the white perimeter fence really helped her stay concentrated and not spooking to the outside. This line here, fence four and five, we didn't get a very good stride to either of them. But again, I'm trying to work on this canter. So if you have seen my lesson vlog with Cameron, you will know that we are working on keeping that pole up, which sometimes does quicken our rhythm. We did get a lovely stride into the double and a nice two strides within it as well, but just keeping that pole up. So I'm really working on making sure she's not curling in her neck. And when she does, I'm like pushing her on a little bit, lifting my hands, which is meaning that we're going a little bit quicker and getting a couple of dodgy strides. She sorted herself out there for that second one in that related distance. Then coming round here, she was less spooky than the first time, but here she thought that we were clocking on to the double again. I was like, no, fence nine's there, which had little spindly little poles but she was super careful and picked up now here I think I actually cut the corner a bit which as you hear she did just tap it then here I saw a long one which thankfully Addie saw too onto the last fence which we got a lovely stride to that one superstar pony I'm hoping the smears that I can see on screen are just my screen and not actually the camera lens because as you may have seen it absolutely <laughs> downpoured we waited as long as possible to actually get on but I was like I'm gonna have to just get on with it and uh, it's actually once you get moving it's not cold because I started sweating with all my layers on but took them off I went out the top and she was a very clever girl as you've seen she's just gone nice clear some very dodgy striding which hopefully now that she might be ever so slightly a little bit more tired she might just listen to me ever so slightly more but I can't knock her because 
she still tries to get her legs out of the way, she takes Enough flyers. Oh, never. Her <laughs> attitude, she was making me proper giggle in the warm up when I first asked for canter. She almost went to like bronk with me. I don't know if it was because she was a bit wet or drips under the saddle, I don't know. Um, but almost like she was super keen and just wanted to get on with it. it. Yeah, but it makes me smile and giggle at her. Like, what are you doing? Um, but we are full steam ahead for the 90. Got to get on in probably, say, two, three minutes. She's obviously all tacked up. Um, Mum wasn't very good and didn't bring a waterproof rug. I didn't think the rain was actually coming till 11. Boy, was I wrong. Um, but thankfully, look, there's a bit of blue sky up there now. <laughs> Mum was faffing around with my coat and didn't get up and to watch it and Tina thought like, I should have oh, When up. you said Mum wasn't very good and didn't bring a waterproof rug, I thought you were blaming your mum then. <laughs> yeah. I said, why is she responsible so did I, actually. <laughs> no, Mum, me, Maddy. <laughs> <laughs> Emily wasn't very organised. I, I did watch most of it. You did watch most yeah. of it. I sent you off to get camera batteries because I was yeah. worried it was going to run out of oh. battery. And you thought I was still in warm up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good because Lee very kindly ran up. She wished me good luck at the bottom and then she must have run up, realised that I had no camera crew <laughs> and filmed for me. So huge thank you to Lee for filming. Um, yeah, just watched it back. <laughs> Ready to go tackle our first 90, Addy. It was like, yeah, yeah I've got it. Don't worry, Mum, I'll get you around. <laughs> Warming up for the 90. <laughs> Now, huge thank you to Lola and her mum. I've actually got my 90 round from two different angles. So there is a couple of repeats, guys, but it's actually really nice seeing it from two different angles because you really do see different things. So in defence two, I trusted Addy and allowed her to canter the whole way in, thinking that she wasn't going to be as spooky. But from this angle, you can actually see I just quicken the rhythm, which really shortens that final stride. And I think then results in us jumping fence three and landing on the incorrect lead. I'm very impressed with Addy. She did a really quick counter truck counter transition, changing that lead and then getting to fence four, which was a nice jump. And then I saw an absolute flyer, but Addy read it too, thankfully. And then just regained around this corner before jumping the double. Just keep trying to keep that pole up. But she got a lovely stride in, two strides and out. She really felt lovely going through that double. Made it feel really easy. Um, and then around this corner she was just getting a little bit excited now if you're not sure in British show jumping they run it in single phase so from this jump when you land you then go through the timer and you are on to the jump off part but obviously because I am not here trying to be as quick as I can I want to just get around nice and collective I could have turned in those fences but actually I use this corner to rebalance her, regain her, make sure the pole was up, make sure she was clocking onto fence nine and not fence six. And then she got a lovely jump over that. A little bit exuberant, but a really nice jump. Then here I learned from my first round, made sure I stayed out a little bit wider. We were perhaps a little bit still standoffish, but still got over it really nicely. She jumps this one beautifully and then close the grip, release the grip for the last fence where she jumped it again. Really, really lovely and Woo! finished. All I can say is an absolute okay. epic round. Oh, good go, Ed. Have 
coffee with herself. Nice double clear there for Emily with the time. Well done, Em. Thank you. <laughs> oh Good my girl, goodness. Ed. She made that. Oh. Just, yeah. Bless her. I can't believe she's just gotten clear. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much to right. Lola for filming. Do you want to span round and wave? Hello. <laughs> and you'll see yourself. Good girl. Oh, good girl, Ad. I can't, I just don't think I breathe if I'm honest, because oh. I was a bit nervous, but... It's your first 90, was. wasn't it, Miss? First 90, yeah, yeah, I know. Easy. She well felt done. like it as well, to be honest. Mm. Well a few done. hairy moments, but actually I think we had less dodgy shreds than what we did in the 80s. Yeah, she respected um, them a bit. She respected them and actually listened to me, which was really nice. But yeah, she just locked onto the fences, coming round for number nine. I feel like she wanted to jump the double again. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Oh, did you not get it? Oh dear. Yeah. Treats. <laughs> Treats. Come on, let's keep you walking, girl. sweetheart. Yeah. That was so good. <laughs> oh. Come on. She's like, no, I've done enough no. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd walk you off. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting me use your camera, Em. Thank you. Can I put on? You wait. <laughs> <laughs> so again, Mum. now, but Mum said I look too scruffy. It's too tall to be like that. <laughs> That's oh, a bit big for you like... too. Hey? That's a bit big for you. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say earlier? I put my jumpers on and I went, well, anybody who tells me that I have lost weight, my jumpers are telling me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Bonnie! Yeah, this is in the 90s! Yeah, she did better in the 90s than yeah, the 80s. She, yeah, she oh, oh, she's like, oh, do I get to eat it? You can try eating it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, you're a Same like, colour as you, Waddy. Yeah, you're probably yellow at the minute, aren't you? You really want it, don't you? She's like, well, yeah, don't they give, like, treats for coming? <laughs> I think she's had plenty. <laughs> Very true. Did oh, she have her first so stub good. muffin too, did I hear? Yes, she did. <laughs> she's going to be oh. like Banksy and be obsessed with them. Yeah, oh, she's obsessed with any treats, so yes, like Banksy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's because she's, she's like, bring my hay net back now, please. Thank you, bye. <laughs> I've done my job. Yeah, right, we were going to take a photo. I thought you might want to show oh, off your frilly. Yeah. Do you know, I wrote on all the back of her rosettes the other day, like writing on the back, and actually every show that we've been to recently, she's come home with a rosette. Aww. How many years have you had, Claude? <laughs> so good. Oh, I don't know what I was nervous about. Clears. And I've just seen the slow-mo of what Tina captured <laughs> and the second to last fence. What did you say? She Could basically like... was jumping newcomers, <laughs> wasn't she? <laughs> Cameron will be proud. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, and I've watched my rounds and actually I do think I rode, as Cameron said, of making sure that she wasn't curling and that her head was out. Yeah. Um, we did mean that we were a bit quick and I think that's probably why we had the dodgy strides. But I'm I didn't not... see many dodgy strides. No, it's just quite a few flyers. <laughs> yeah, but that's what she likes to do. Yeah, I know. Like Banks likes to chip in. She yeah. likes, she would much prefer to go on a long one. Yeah. yeah. And she clears them with ease, so <laughs> let her. No, I did giggle round that round actually. There was one that she just, I think it was fence four, and I just felt like we just took off miles. <laughs> but, oh, not She's like, I just find it effortless, man. Yeah. So easy. She says, I love it. I love it. Much better than the dressage, isn't it? I'm sorry, but you're doing dressage next weekend. <laughs> okay, that's a wrap for a spot of show jumping on a Sunday. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks to everybody for coming up. Thank you to Lola for filming me today in no the problem. 90. You've had two really good rounds today. Yeah, so, it was really you? good. Yeah, uh, we got one pole in the 70 and one pole in the 80, but she was very speedy in the 70. <laughs> very speedy. Uh, <laughs> loves but the we job. came second, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Really good. Yeah, Amazing. Very well done. Thank you. And thank you again for filming. Oh, no um, problem. Well we done. met you at Victor last weekend, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was when, so uh, <laughs> Yeah, when Tina was up there smashing it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to end it now. now. Typical, the sun has actually come out. But, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe. And until I see you all soon, bye! Bye! <laughs> Addie says bye! I just want to read Yeah, I've done my job. She hasn't gone.